Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be trying to resolve some of the issues that some people have been hit having with Hitman 3. So, a lot of people in the video that I did before the series, um, a lot of people have been saying in the uh, the video that I did before the series was how to carry over your progress from Hitman 1 and 2 to Hitman 3 tutorial. I've been reading through some of the comments and a lot of people have been asking me, um, how do I link Hitman 2 to my IO Active account? How do I link Hitman 3 to my IO Active account? How do I move them two series from my IO Active account? And there's another one, um, how do I get Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 as registered products on IO Active? I can't even link my account. So again, if you are having the issue, like these people, and you still haven't got it resolved, then hopefully this video is for you. So yeah, um, in order to transfer your progress over to Hitman 3 from Hitman 2, you need to link Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 to your IO Active account. And a lot of people saying you don't have to do it, but in this video I'm going to try and see if I can resolve that the best I can. Again, if you do find this video helpful, drop a like, subscribe, comment, turn notifications on. And I hope these um, tutorials will help you out. So first things first, as you can see, I have logged into my Hitman 3. Again, uh, Hitman 2 and Hitman 3, I both got this for. So um, make sure you both got copies of these. Again, it's, it's still the same if you've got digital, it doesn't matter. The only difference is, the only difference is you don't have to put the disc in. So I'm in Hitman 3. To link it, if you go right across and you press your R button or your L1 button if you're on Xbox, PC I'm not too sure, but on PS5 press R1 and go to the Options tab and then scroll the um, the six option down, four from the bottom and six from the top, the IO Active account. Again, I will censor some of these out the best I can. But as you can see, your email is going to be going right across the screen here. Again, I will censor it. And make sure that you've actually signed in and submitted it. Again, keep refreshing it just to make sure if it hasn't. Once it says signed in, that means you're good to go. Now, again, make sure. And again, uh, once you've once you've seen that your email's actually signed in, your next step is obviously um, head towards Hitman 2. So again, I'm going to skip this gameplay now, and I'll see you guys once I'm in Hitman 2. Okay, so guys, once you've put the disc in, or you've loaded your Hitman 2 version, again, if you're on disc, like I have, I've put the disc in, um, we're going to do the same process we did with Hitman 3, making sure that your email in the Options tab is logged in with your IO Interactive account. So again, make sure you go into Hitman 2 itself. So again, when Hitman 3 went to Options, we're going to repeat the process we did with Hitman 3 in Hitman 2. So with Hitman 3, I went to Options. So again, in Hitman 2, once you put your copy in, go to Options. Scroll down, this is going to be the same position, so 6 from the top, 4 from the bottom. Go to IO Active Account, IO Interactive Account, and as you can see, my account has been linked with the same email as Hitman 3. So I'm making sure that both copies of Hitman 3 and Hitman 2 have both got the same, same email and they're both linked. So I can hit refresh if they haven't. Um, again, make sure they're greyed out, which means they're linked. So that means my copies of Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 are linked to the same account so now i'm going to move over to my dashboard on my pc so guys um and now i'm on my pc dashboard um what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to show you how to remove both games from your profile in your io interactive account now i just want to clear something up if some people is probably having the same or thinking the same thing as i am if you remove your profile from your io interactive account does it remove all your progress trophies, the mastery level, and reset it all back to level one? No, it does not. It does not reset your progress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in IO Interactive. I have done right here. So IO, IO Interactive Home. Um, again, once you're at this page where I am, if you come up to your IO, IO Interactive account in the top right, and as you can see, I'm going to censor a lot of this out, but as you can see you've got your profile, which is your nickname and your email. You've got linked accounts, and you've also got registered products. Now, as you can see, uh, in the previous gameplay that I've shown you, making sure that both Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 are both linked with the same email. If they are, then they should pop up like so. If not, go and recheck both games to make sure that they are. Now, to remove both of these games from your profile, 
go to your account settings as you can see a lot of personal information here I'm going to censor a lot of this so please bear with it but you don't need to do anything with this if you come down to the third option and it says link linked accounts it was your PlayStation or whatever you've logged in with such as your Xbox um, your name as well and if you click on the X next to the date that you've done it as you can see it'll say the date what it's previously added if you press the delete option it will say um, remove this account from my IO interactive account and just press the tick box and hit confirm and delete link once you hit confirm and delete link it will um, remove um, your Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 linked products from your profile and if you refresh um, both games it will ask you to re-sign in again which I think I'm going to show you in the next gameplay so I'll jump over back over to my PS4 and I'll show you that in the next gameplay So guys, in the previous one, I've removed my um, account for my IO Interactive, such as Hitman 2 and 3. Now again, once you've done that, refresh your game. So if you've got Hitman 3 in it, close the application and load back into it. Same with Hitman 2. Um, again, load back into Hitman 2 or Hitman 3. It's your choice of whatever. I've just done Hitman 2 for an example. So again, close it just to refresh it. And if you go right across to, again, the Options tab your active account it says no email has been found you need to enter an email sign up for a free io interactive account and unlock free suits to hit into hitman 2 so again you need to enter the email like so enter email and then press ok and then submit it same process for hitman 3 once that's done if you refresh your io interactive account you'll refind hitman 2 and hitman 3 on your interactive account so again, if you remove both of them, if you just do Hitman 2, log that in with that, refresh your IO Interactive account, Hitman 2 should only just pop up. That's because you've just done Hitman 2. To get Hitman 3 on there, just repeat the process. Put the disc in for Hitman 3 into your PS4 or whatever console. Go into Hitman 3 and just log in with the same email and then Hitman 2 and Hitman 3 should be up. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, comment, turn notifications on. I hope I resolve so many people's issues with this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, if you still have any issues, drop a comment down below in this video. And I'll try and get a best answer to the best you can. Best I can. I'll see you guys in the next video.